Christian nationalism. What does that mean to you, and do you think that we should be a Christian nationalist country? Uh, I believe that we should be protecting our freedom of religion, and it seems that Christianity is under attack in this country. Um, it's pretty evident when college campuses allow things um, to be talked about everything under the sun, but when anyone tries to speak about Christianity, they're pretty much shut down. Um, you see it in protests around the country. People are shut down, and it's really unfortunate. So it is important to me that that's protected. And, and do you think the Bible should be taught in public schools? Yeah. I, I mean, why not? We have a separation of church and state. You know, it might be to some people, but not to me. I just know that God is in charge and whatever he does is the, it's the only thing to be doing or that can be done so he's going to take a lot he's going to go a long ways before he destroys the evil and what's the evil as you define it now yeah well you know i i, I can't go that far i know the evil and you know the evil but we don't speak it that way christians don't anyway i don't no, I, I mean, when you, when you refer to evil, because I don't know what, you know, evil to me is people who kill people. Well, <laughs> Biden's evil, and that's about all I can say to that. In what, in what ways is he evil? You, you know, yeah, I, I got it all out. Thank you. All right. So the Constitution was not written for uh, immoral, unjust people. The Constitution was written for moral, spiritual people who could discern the times and the seasons through the Word of God. We have, uh, you know, God. God is trying to help America. And the man for the mission is Trump. So we need to follow Trump. Uh, but what if Trump were to lose? What would that mean that, 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 that didn't work out? Or what would it mean for the country? Well, God has his plan. And God knows everything. If, if that happens, uh, it means suffering for the people. And I don't think uh, God wants that at this point in time. I think that uh, most of America is a faithful uh, people. America is actually following Christ more than we think. And I think that God knows this. Do you think America should be an exclusively Christian country? Uh, yes, but I think that this should be a Christian country. And let's say we became a Christian country. What would you say to your Jewish friends and neighbors? Well, I think that um, the base of this nation was Christianity, and they know that, you know. Just like Israel was uh, the Jewish religion, and we know that, and we love them, you know, and we respect them for how their nation is, and they respect us for how our, our nation is run. And I think that, uh, you know, both nations are very, very close, commandments-wise and everything. I think that uh, the right path is to keep America uh, uh, Christ-like America. But we have a separation of church and state in this country. Uh, there is a separation, but not in the Constitution. The Constitution uh, was uh, based uh, on the, our Heavenly Father. I don't think they used those words, though, right? Um, not those words, but the men that did the job of writing the Constitution, they were very faithful men. And we're standing in Virginia. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Articles of Religious Freedom, that everybody here is free to worship whomever they please. Do you think we should teach the Bible in public school? Uh, yes, I do. I do believe that. Um, I, I believe that it does bring the spirit uh, of, uh, of uh, America and that it helps the children. You know, Michael Flynn, he said that if the country is one nation under God, it should be one nation under one God. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do, yes. So what would that do for Donald Trump's Jewish children who don't worship the same God? But don't they still? I mean, it's still the same God. They just don't worship Christianity. Well, they don't worship Jesus. Right, right. Isn't so, Jesus the God of Christianity? Well, he, he is. He's three in one. <laughs> yeah. um, so. Um, and what about your our you know Muslim people in the country? Should they be made to worship Jesus as well? I don't. No. I, I guess I guess everybody we should have our. How about we keep religion out of it? <laughs> Michael Flynn the other day said that the country is one nation under God. Do you believe with that? I do. Yeah. He's saying, because we're one nation under God, we should be one nation 
under one God. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. So what, what then, you know, like Donald Trump has children and gr grandchildren who are being uh, raised Jewish. What would happen in that case to, to people like that? Um, well, the Jewish religion, that they have the right to believe in, in their person, which is God. The, Jew, the Jewish religion believes in God. I personally am Roman Catholic. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. And what about a Muslim, uh, you know, friend or colleague? Uh, what, would, would they have the same protections? As far as their religion goes, sure. Yeah. So that Michael Flint thing, one nation under one God, it's not, he's saying that there's one Christian God is the way I hear it, but you're saying that that shouldn't be. Well, in, in my eyes it is, because yeah. I am a Christian. Right, but it should be mandated to the country is what I'm saying. Should we be one nation under one God as the United States of America? Well, that's, that's what's printed on our money, and that we should. We say in God we trust, right? Correct. Our money. Right. But but I'm I'm asking, do you think we should all adopt one God, the same God? I think if whatever religion you're in, you believe whatever high higher being is. Or you're an atheist. And well, I'm, I'm I'm not not. No no not you. I'm not saying. Yeah no no you're. Not, and I don't like th that. You know. Michael Flint said that America is one nation under God, and he says if America is one nation under God, they should be one nation under one God. Do you agree with that? I, I'm an American, you know, one nation under God, that's how I feel, but that's a little touchy, yeah. you know, a little touchy. General Flynn recently said that America is, should be one nation under God and one nation under one God. How do you feel about that? Under one God? I am a Christian myself and I do believe in God. I think that there's a lot of unholiness that happens and there's more things. I think it's just, it's on a much deeper level when it comes to big politicians. We have career politicians nowadays. We don't have anyone who is of the working class any longer. We have career politicians and I don't, I don't believe that that's right, so. And then finally, I want to ask, um, you were talking about being a Christian. Um, Michael Flynn, who you recall from the previous yeah, administrations, yeah. he recently said that if America should be one nation under God, they should also be one nation under one God. Um, what do you think of that? As a Christian, I mean, I'm a Catholic, but overall I'm a Christian. And I don't really agree with him on that end. I mean, we all disagree on things. President Biden's a Catholic, and he's you know, an observant Catholic. He goes to church every Sunday. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about not supporting someone, or do you feel a bind to support someone who is Catholic? I don't feel a bind to support him. I don't think he should be receiving communion as a Catholic um, to support abortion and the murdering of millions of innocent children. I don't know how he can receive communion and say he's a Catholic. I don't know how he could do that. And it's as our faith. That's what, I, that's what we believe, and we're a pro-life church. I mean, our, I go to church right down the road, and every single Sunday, that's the first thing they say is we are a pro-life church, and for him to have the position he does and not support that, it's pretty embarrassing, to be honest. There's a lot of talk about religion in this election and Christian nationalism. What does that mean to you, Christian nationalism? Well, I'm a Christian, so, you know, I believe in all of it. I, and I believe Donald Trump is a Christian. And, you know, it's a good Lord to put us here. It's a good Lord that, that wrote, wrote the Constitution. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm all about it. You're crediting the Lord with the Constitution? I'm sorry, what was You're that? You're crediting the Lord with the Constitution? Yes, I am. I credit him with everything. Michael Flynn, he recently said that we are one nation under God, and he thinks we should be one nation under one God. Do you agree with that as well? Well, yes and no. That's, that's a... That's a it's a fine line there. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. If somebody else wants to believe something, that's up to them. Don't push it on me just because I don't believe in it. Don't push your, you know, your religion, your, your, you know, your, your uh, sexuality. That's fine. If you want to be that way, be that way. Don't push it on me. General Flynn, he recently said that America is one nation under God. But he also went further and said America is one nation under one God. It should be. Do you think that should be the case? This nation was founded on Judeo-Christian principles. So, you know, we, we're a welcoming nation. It's just that we're a nation of laws, and if they keep coming over illegally, we're not. We can't support it. Michael Flynn, who you probably know from, yeah. you know, Michael Flynn the other day said that uh, if we are one nation under God, then we should be one nation under one God. Do you think that's true? I mean, there is one God. Yes, that's true. It's one God. But... There, there's so many different religions that have their own God, I guess. 
Yeah, that's what he meant. He meant instead of having Allah, you know, the Muslim God and, and the Buddha God. and Yeah. yeah. So the you, Indians, they didn't have a God. They had, what, spirits or something? Personally believe in Christ is our Savior and he's exactly. the Son of God. Just don't force your